Good morning. So a quick update. On yesterday's show, I talked about uh, a viewer who had sent me that message about having an issue with being told she could only get a mammogram every five years covered under her insurance because of her age. Well, it turns out, not true. <laughs> and I am happy to report that she has scheduled a mammogram. And the reason for the confusion, it was not her fault. It was actually something called coding. Now, let, let's, let's talk about coding for a minute because I've also personally been a victim of this. And if you are confused listening to the first part of this show, believe me, I'm not drunk. But you're going to wish you were. <laughs> I mean, pour yourself a drink right now. You're going to need it to understand what is happening with today's health care. And there's enough blame to go around. So here's the thing. What Blue Cross Blue Shield told my viewer is that she is able to get annually, if she chooses to, a preventive screening mammogram. And we're going to talk about this today. I wasn't going to do the whole show again on mammograms, but it is important because of something I saw on television earlier in the week. So basically, it's like, you know, when you go to Kmart or you used to go to Kmart and they were giving out free hot dogs. Were they Angus beef hot dogs or were they like mystery meat hot dogs? Because that's the mammogram insurance companies will pay for. They pay for the mystery meat mammogram, the mammogram that basically just squishes your boobies and shows up something that's really, really, really bad. Or something that could be really, really, really bad, but then you got to go through more testing, which the insurance company doesn't have to pay for under the Affordable Care Act. That's when we're going to get into what happens when you have something called dense breasts, which 50% of all American women, so listen to me out there, one in two of you have dense breasts, which means that the Affordable Care Act for Women mammogram that you get every year if you want it at no cost or deductible to you won't find breast cancer in your dense breasts. You need to go a couple steps further. But anywho, my viewer is going to get her mammogram at no charge and no deductible through her health insurance company, Blue Cross Blue Shield. And so that's a good thing. And the interesting thing about it all is at the hospital where she's going to have her imaging done, her breast imaging done. Well, Blue Cross Blue Shield, they had a little fight with them. And she had gotten a letter a few weeks ago saying that Blue Cross Blue Shield was no longer accepted at the hospital that was literally five minutes from her home. But not to worry, ma'am. There's a hospital that is 40 miles from your house that we do accept. And you can just go there if you're having a heart attack. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyway, again, I told you you were going to be confused, right? Turns out, after some more questioning, that the hospital and Blue Cross Blue Shield has reached a tentative agreement. <laughs> and she can have her mammogram at the hospital that is five minutes from her home. Which is really good news for her. As long as she doesn't have dense breasts. This is where I'm going. So, I've talked a lot about celebrity health care. And how even celebrities admit that the only reason they are alive is because they are celebrities. They're rich. No insurance company, no hospital wants to be known for killing Angelina Jolie. Or sentencing Angelina Jolie to death by cancer. Like every other person. Because it's Angelina Jolie. If Angelina Jolie wants her tits cut off, she gets them cut off. If Angelina Jolie wants her cervix and uterus and ovaries cut out, they get cut out. 
Any of you out there? Can you just walk into a doctor's office and say, I want that? Hell no. No. Not going to happen. <clears throat> and there's a new celebrity out there now. And this really piqued my interest only because she was everybody's mom. Mrs. Seaver. Joanna Kearns. Really good actress. Really nice lady. She starred with Alan Thick. And that, that family show with Kirk Cameron. And I don't remember the name of the show. The bottom line is she's a good person. And she just came out and announced that uh, she was diagnosed with stage zero breast cancer. Zero. Now, do you know how she was diagnosed? It wasn't from the Kmart blue light special mammogram that insurance companies have to pay for that women are getting all the time and they usually either have false positives or they miss something she actually got something i never heard of they injected iodine into her breast and did an mri why because she's one of the 50 percent of american women who have dense breasts and that's what her doctor recommended. And because she is a celebrity, she could afford to do it. Ask your insurance company next time you're due for a mammogram if you can have that. The one where they inject the dye and do the MIR and they get such a good picture that they actually can detect cancer before it's even cancer. When it's just the fetus of cancer. It's not, doesn't have arms or legs or a heartbeat. It's just this little teeny thing. And it hasn't broken through the wall of the milk duct. And it's, it's so freaking curable. It doesn't even have a number. It's a zero. No calories. It's a zero breast cancer. Ask your insurance company if they'll pay for that mammogram. Bet they won't. Now, ask what Joanna Kearns, the celebrity, did with her stage zero cancer. She had a double mastectomy. She had both her boobies cut off. Why? Because she did not want to go through two years of chemotherapy and radiation. I'm sorry, a year. That was the choice she had because it was cancer. But, I mean, it wasn't even really cancer. It was kind of just the beginning little seed so she had a choice and this was only one breast one breast the other breast no no little zeros no nothing she had them both cut off because she could and because she didn't want to spend a year of her life being sick as a dog and losing every hair on her body like most of us would be sentenced to if we got Stage one cancer, which usually it's not even found at stage one with the Kmart blue light special mammogram that insurance companies have to pay for because Obama said so. We usually get diagnosed at stage two, stage three, stage four. Guess what that means? That means either cancer is going to kill us or chemo is going to kill us, but we're going to die. Or we're going to be cured and then like Olivia Newton-John who is a celebrity but went old school treatment and um it came back it's going to come back see that's the problem with cancer and it seems like it's breast cancer in particular you can get rid of it in the breast but for some reason even after 5 10 15 years 20 years it comes back and it comes back with a vengeance. Olivia Newton-John now has cancer that is metastasized to her spine. Sorry, that don't sound good. I mean, I love her and all, but... And she's very positive. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to beat it. People usually don't survive cancer that spreads to the bones. But she's a fighter. And I hope she does beat it. The bottom line is, if there are these methods out there, like Joanna Kearns was privy to, 
because back when Olivia Newton John was first diagnosed with, they didn't have these these kinds of mammograms. There's all kinds of new mam mammography available now that you're not going to get because your insurance isn't going to cover it and you're not going to be able to afford it. Trust me. A standard Kmart Blue Light special mammogram is billed to insurance at $650 in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I wonder what it is in New York City or Los Angeles. Probably more. Because again, a mammogram should be a mammogram everywhere in the country, but it's not. It depends where you live. If you are in a ritzier area where your taxes are higher and homes cost more, you're going to pay more for the mammogram. Hell, for all I know, the Kmart Blue Light Special Mammogram might be $1,200 in New York or in Philly or in Los Angeles. I don't know. I do know that if you're going to go get dye injected into your breast and then you're going to go under the, the, the MRI, it's a lot more than $650. And how many of you would be able to afford maybe $3,000 every year to make sure that you catch your cancer when it's zero? When you actually have some choices. And then how many of you will be able to afford a mastectomy? Because what Obamacare did wrong is they say, okay, insurance company, you got to pay for someone to find out they have a disease, but you don't have to pay to treat it. That's a problem too. So say you can afford, you get your MRI and you find out you need more treatment. Well, that's where your deductible comes in. And what did the insurance companies do after Obama said, you got to take sick people. You can't charge them more because they're sick, because they're going to use you more often. You can't charge for usage. You got to pay for every single person on your client list to get pap smears and colonoscopies and prostate exams. But just to check, just to see if they have a disease. Damn it. Obama forgot to put in, then you've got to treat the disease. Because what is the point of catching a disease early if the patient can't afford to treat it or doesn't have the treatment options that they can live with? I personally am not a chemotherapy fan. You know that. I am the fan of if it's there, if it shouldn't be there, if there's something in my body that shouldn't be there, you cut me open and you take it out. And then I'm going to go home and recover from my surgery if everything goes well. And I'm not going to think about it ever again. Instead, what we are getting now, because of insurance companies trying to save every dime they can, is there are women right now walking around with lumps in their breast that the mammography people are simply saying, well, we're just going to keep an eye on that. What? Wait, wait. You're tell I mean, I know people who have had this happen. They are walking around right now with lumps, with something in their breast that shows up on mammography, on the Kmart Blue Light Special Mammography, by the way. And it shows up and like, well, we're just going to watch it. No. See, this is why I love not having health insurance. No, you're not just going to watch a lump that you know is in my body that doesn't belong there and wasn't there two years ago. You're not going to just watch it until it blows up and becomes something even bigger than what I can emotionally and physically deal with. You're going to get it out now. That's how I roll. You don't just watch something that shouldn't be there and wait till it turns into something that's going to kill you. But this is the way some places roll. And some women are okay with it. 
they're like, I said, well, I said to one friend of mine, well, how do you feel about that? Are you comfortable knowing you have a lump in your breast and you're not sure what it is? And they're, they're telling you it's not cancer, but I mean, doesn't that make you no? I'm fine. I'm good with it. I'm like, well, go with God. I wouldn't be fine with it. What the problem is right now with healthcare in America right now, today, is that we have this disconnect. And I talked about it yesterday, this confusion that we've got. Health insurance companies making decisions like their doctors, making decisions for people they never met. And at, on December 31st, they will never hear from again because they're going to drop the policy that these people are on and raise the rates so high that these people have to go somewhere else or cancel their health insurance altogether, like me last year. We have doctors who are lecturing patients. You need a mammogram every year, but then you go on the American Cancer Society website and the American Journal of Medicine website, and they're saying, no, 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 no. You don't need a mammogram every year. Every two years, and oh, by the way, if you're 75, you don't need a mammogram at all, because you're probably only going to live 10 years anyway. We're going to throw you under the bus. Remember Obama wheeling the wheelchair old lady over the cliff? Well, Obama ain't doing it. The American Cancer Society and the American Journal of Medicine is doing it. They're saying after 75, don't bother with preventing screenings anymore. You're half dead anyway. Do you really care if you have cancer? Well, maybe their grandchildren and great-grandchildren might care. They might want great-grandma to live to see them married or graduate from college. I mean, 75, I thought that was the new 50. But not according to some of these guidelines, because once you're 75, oh, don't worry about getting your boobies x-rayed or your prostate. You're going to be dead in 10 years anyhow. Who cares? I find that snarky, because guess what an insurance company does with that? We're not going to pay for a 75-year-old woman to have a mammogram, even if she wants one, because she has something to live for. What do you think about that? I hope this show will cause a lot of discussion, and I hope you will share your personal stories with me, because it's very confusing. So anyway, I got ahead of myself, but I had to, I had to make sure that I mentioned, because we're going long, I had to mention that 75-year-old thing, because nobody wanted to think that we were going to let old people wither away or die or not get proper health care because they were a certain age. Well, sounds like it is happening. And that makes me very sad. Now, back to the confusion. So you've got your doctor saying go every year. You've got the ACS, American Cancer Society, American Journal of Medicine saying nobody should be getting screened every year because there's too many false positives. And there are. I'll tell you, these preventive screening people, they only have themselves to blame that people don't trust the results they get. There are too many false positives and there's too many false negatives. There's too many things missed, which we're going to talk about on the next show. But then you have the insurance companies who they jump anytime they can deny a claim because let's remember the golden rule of health insurance. The less they pay out, the less service they give, that's how they make money. They make money when the people who pay their salaries don't use the product they're selling them. That is the most important part of this series. Health insurance makes money when you, the customer, don't use their product. So they will find every loophole. They will talk rigmarole around you to confuse you like they did with my viewer for four years. That she has not had a mammogram because they kept telling her she didn't need one. Because the American Cancer Society said so. And I talked to the guy. I talked to Nathan at the American Cancer Society. He said, oh my God, no, we never said that. 
No way. She should be getting an annual mammogram if that's what she wants. And I talked to the Blue Cross Blue Shield people. Remember, I pretended I was shopping for health insurance. And they said, oh, no, ma'am. The Affordable Care Act says you get a mammogram every year. The Kmart Blue Light Special Mammogram. But it, yeah. And that's the other thing with the coding. It's got to be coded properly by the prescribing physician. I didn't know this, that some insurance companies, you have to actually have a prescription for a mammogram. What, is it a drug now? They inject it? I, what? Is it a pill? But you need a prescription from your OBGYN or family doctor to get a mammogram. And if they don't code it properly, the insurance company will think the reason your doctor sent you for the mammogram is because there's something wrong with you. That they don't have to pay for. And that's what happened to my friend. They kept thinking she was getting an ill visit mammogram instead of just the annual are my boobies okay mammogram. The blue light special. Now she knows she's got to make sure. She's got to check all the, the boxes. Make sure that they, they know this is her preventive, affordable care act for woman guaranteed, no cost mammogram. And then she just prays that the results are good. And that they're accurate. That's all any woman can do. You know, it's like you do when you eat a hot dog that isn't all beef. Sometimes you get sick. Even though they're like, oh, the hot dog is so good for you. It's delicious, right? Tastes good. It was free. And then you get sick. So let's hope that the blue light special mammogram is accurate and that she's okay. And I'm sure she will be. She's a healthy, healthy woman. But I had the same situation when I went for a pap smear. And I hadn't had a pap smear for three years. So I did the pap smear, which is under the ACA. It was supposed to be at no charge to me, no deductible. I did the HPV test, which also no charge, no deductible, because that's the recommendation every three years, HPV pap smear. But I also asked the doctor to do a menopause blood test on me because I wanted to know if I was in menopause. And he did. And then while he was down there messing around, he said, oh, you've got a slight yeast infection. And he prescribed me, you know, that little one pill thing. You go to the pharmacy, you pay 25 bucks, whatever. You take the pill. It's gone. I had no symptoms of a yeast infection. Imagine my shock um, a few weeks later when I get a bill for like $350, $400. I'm like, what? So, of course, I called the insurance company. Excuse me, Affordable Care Act for woman. Well, no, you went because you were sick. You had a yeast infection. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, see, I went because I was due for my pap smear. It's kind of like if you ever saw Blue Collar Comedy when Ron White says, I got arrested for being drunk in public, but see, I was drunk in the bar. The bar threw me into public. See, I went to my gynecologist for a pap smear, just preventative test. He found the yeast infection, which I had no symptoms of. I had no idea. All of a sudden, the visit turns into a new visit, and I have to pay for all of it? No. But see, I had to be vigilant. I had to stand up and say, this is wrong. Affordable Care Act for women, just like with my mother-in-law when they charged her for a mammogram and they knew damn well right the insurance would have covered it. They forgot to mention it. She got her money back. I had to call the doctor's office because they coded the visit wrong because of that yeast infection and blood test for menopause. They coded it like an ill visit. So after talking to the insurance company, I had to call the doctor's office and say, you need to recode this visit because you know darn well right I came in there for a preventative screening. And they did. And I paid $9 for the blood test. And then, of course, for the uh, medicine for the yeast infection. But that was it. 
But you have to be vigilant. You have to watch these people. Because they're not going to tell you what you have the right to. Because they're pissed off that they have to pay for anything. Insurance companies are pissed. Because they're used to only taking money. Not paying it out. They only used to take healthy people who they knew damn well right were never going to use their product. And then say goodbye to them after a couple years. When the prices got so high, we said, screw you, and went somewhere else. They didn't care about our health. Obamacare made them have to care because they had to pay for it, at least the preventive part, the blue light specials. And they even want to get out of doing that by confusing customers, confusing patients, Running rigmarole and, and saying, well, no, you're, you're 45 now. No, you don't need another mammogram. Yeah, no, 40 and then it, it's confusing. And finally, people give up. They just say, well, you know what? If they're saying I don't need one, then I don't need one. And then something terrible happens. And we know what that something terrible is. And for people who have something to live for, Children growing up, children going to college, children getting married, having children of their own, seeing their grandchildren grow up, get married. This is important to those people. I've always said to you all, all along, I don't care. I don't like being poked and prodded. I don't like spending money to hear everything's fine. I don't like mistakes that cost me a year of my life, making me stressed out. I don't trust the results of these tests, but there are people out there who rely on them, who do trust them. And by the way, there are people out there whose lives have been saved by these tests. Make no mistake about that. Or lives have been lengthened by these tests. So it's important. And it's very important that all of you know your rights under the Affordable Care Act. That is still the law today. Right now. And if your insurance company tries to tell you that you don't need an annual anything, you tell them Affordable Care Act, male or female, because you guys, you have your rights too. You have rights to an annual physical with cholesterol and blood screening, and you have a right to an annual prostate exam after age 40. And you also have a right to a colonoscopy every five years if your colonoscopy is normal. You have the right to these things. Now, just because you don't like using them, if you want to live longer, if you want to be healthy, then you should take advantage of the few good things that the Affordable Care Act did for you. And that are the that is these preventative screenings. They're not the best, and they're not going to catch everything every time. But for those that get caught early enough, it's going to make all the difference to you and your family. So know your rights, know the law, and don't let the insurance companies become your doctor. Because believe me, they do not know you, they don't care about you, and they do not have your best interest at heart. Love shows and grows. Political Paula is out.